Okay guys, DCT makes here, third video. I've just uh, tigged the central tube. It's gonna take the majority of the, uh, of the stress that way, pushing back that way. Um, and I'm just gonna assemble the pieces. It's not finished, obviously. It's gonna take a, a while to get it finished. Again, this is just scrap from the garage. Um, just so you get an idea. This is the center shaft off a uh, washing machine. Just some random tube off something that I cut. This is a piece of um, mild steel that was in, on, on a plate under a mower. This is a uh, high speed steel drill stock. Just a standard, um, what is it? Grade five bolt uh, coated. Um, piece of random box, inch box. Quite quite reasonable stock. It's gonna take a pound in. Um, so I'm just gonna assemble it real quick so you guys can see it uh, as it stands at this point. So first off, this guy's going in here and then the rod that's gonna pick it up, high speed steel pin through the middle of the stock. That pin's not gonna come out at any point because it's held obviously in here. It never travels past the end. So it can't come out. And then you want the box. This is pretty rough at this point, but give you an idea. Kind of fiddly. There we go. And that on light. Okay. Another piece of high speed steel drill stock going to pick up that pin in here through a slot. A little fiddly as well. Okay. Um, so basically that's that and then there'll be um, obviously what I showed you earlier on the cups that will actually bend around part of the post mechanism we come up with here. I think in a um, set of um, mild steel post 3 8 with a 3 8 16 thread and then a half inch with a 3 16 thread and then a captive maybe this stuck may be thick eh, maybe not may have to put a captive nut underneath to pick it up because it's going to be a lot of a lot of pressure and force being pressed against this but not high off so it's not going to act too much like a lever it'll be somewhere like about here the major force so it's not going to act too much as a believe this up here it would be a problem the 3 16 down the bottom here may be good enough um, or even uh, maybe 7 16 half's getting a little little large on that but a captive nut welded underneath tap through here maybe to try it out first off to get the position in but uh, basically, there'll be a pin picking up this, the forming portion, so that it can't spin. And then I haven't uh, quite worked out how to keep this retained. It's obviously it's great being pushed, but when it returns, this shuffle has to pick up that to move it back, else you'll just get really frustrated and beat the hell out of it. So anyway, so that's where we got to at this point. That works pretty good. Make these out of the out of the stock. Theoretically, I can change the length of this. You can reposition this just by drilling another set of holes. So it can be moved around a bit to fit. But it, majority of things, you're actually moving about that distance, about that far. Uh, at most to actually do the work of forming. So uh, all this palaver just to move this in and out, just real small amount. But hey, the force is what's gonna happen. So it move you out a little bit here. Right, obviously there'll be a rod in the top
that. And then the force that you generate down there is quite, <laughs> quite substantial. I haven't worked out yet what's going to be. Solids, solids are a little heavy. You're not going to, you're not going to probably bend this unless you're some kind of weightlifter. But um, something like that. Uh, that's what I have. If you watch my other videos on the one I made, it's that that size. Uh, even a little longer is like that size. And the amount of force you generate is pretty good. This this stuff. I'm not the best welder in the world, but this stuff takes up nicely onto the pipe. So they're done. Bring you back when it gets a little further. Take it easy. You have a good day. Bye.